and we welcome you to the Supreme Court here in Ottawa Glendorf High School. We are set for live basketball on this Friday night here on WOSN. We got a big matchup for you tonight in the Western Buckeye League as the state ranked Titans bottom West Glendorf play host to the Cougars of Van Wert. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts, partner. A lot of things going on here in Ottawa Glendorf tonight. Titans trying to stay unbeaten in the WBL and perhaps, and the reason why most of the fans are here tonight, they expect to see a special record get broken this evening. Yeah, where else would you rather be than right here right now? A packed venue and a festive type atmosphere, right? They cannot wait to see Colin White break the Paulden County scoring record. You know, Really, it's going to happen tonight, Randy. I would think so. 14 points. 14 to tie, 15 to own it. Yeah, it's going to be a special moment here. Colin White, a special player. It's going to be great to see greatness be acknowledged. And we want to tell you that our pregame show tonight is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. But before we get to the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf Miles, let's take a look at the Cougars of Van Wert. This is clearly not the team it was a year ago when they made that magical run into the regional. You see their starting lineup for head coach Ben Loddick coming in at 3-12, 0-4 in the Western Buckeye League. They've dropped four in a row in six of their last seven. Yeah, it is a struggling year, one of those years you have to, after a great year last year, lost so much in graduation. Everybody knows how good Aiden Pratt was and the rest of the guys, but those guys move on and you have to rebuild. And Ben Loddick, the right guy for the job, a, a heck of a basketball coach. And Randy, they're doing it without Connor Campbell, who's missed uh, roughly the last eight games. And that's uh, 12 points a game and seven rebounds. So you're a young team, you're missing a guy like Connor Campbell, who's a senior. You have to really grow as the season goes. Now the good thing is they have a lot of young talent. Take a look at number 11, Keaton Welch. He's going to be a fantastic player, just a freshman, and he's averaging 13 points, five foot ten. The future is bright for him. Knows a little bit about the game of basketball. It is the family business. That's right. Al Welch, the legendary coach at mm -hmm. Wayne Trace. Correct? That's his grandfather. His dad, a very good player as well. Before we get to Ottawa Glendorf, we'll step aside for a quick timeout. We'll have more of our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show when we return here on WOSN. All right, Miles, now let's talk about the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf. They're on the other side of the coin against Van Wert coming in at 12-2, and 4-0 in the WBL. You see their starting lineup on your screen under veteran head coach Tyson McLaughlin. We were here the last time they took the floor and got a big win over Lima Senior, 51-48. And this might be one of those I don't know, sandwich games. They got a big one coming up against Berlin Highland tomorrow night. We mentioned at the top of the pregame what's at stake tonight, but I don't know if we can say enough good words about the senior Colin White and what he's done for this tight basketball Hey, yeah, he's, he's a little good, huh, right? He's all right. Hey, of course, he's going to Ohio State. Uh, he deserves all the accolades he gets because he is not only just a fantastic player, he is a fantastic young man as well. He, he is a stand stuffer supreme, 25 points, eight rebounds. He is as good as you get in Northwest Ohio and maybe even the state. And he's got a good running mate as well, another senior, Keaton Erford. 14 points, six rebounds, three assists to go with it. So they've become a nice one-two punch for the Titans. Yeah, we called them Batman and Robin last week. Uh, Erdberg, uh, let's be honest, struggled a little bit against Lima he Senior did. last week. So it'll be real important that he gets bounced back tonight. And a guy that really stepped forward, uh, Grady Tomazos, great guy, great job against Lima Senior in double digits last week. And again, for those that missed it, when we mentioned the top of our pregame, Colin White, what's at stake? Needs 14 points to tie, 15 points to break, both the all-time scoring record here in Ottawa Glendorf and the Putnam County score record held by Tim Pollitt who later went on to play at Miami University. We're going to step aside one more time. When we come back, we'll get to your line of Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game when we return here on WOSN. Well, Randy and Miles back with you here as we get set for the start of this one. This is Ottawa Glandorf and Van Wert set to meet for the 66th time overall. Ottawa Glandorf leads this all-time series 44 to 21. Time now to take a look at our keys to the game. To get our keys to the game brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. 
the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. There you see them, partner keys tonight for the Van Wert Cougars. Yeah, number one for the Cougars, Tempo. Randy, they don't want to get in a track meet up and down game with this uh, uh, Ottawa Glandorf team. Ottawa Glandorf can score up to 65 points per game. You want to keep this around 40 to 45 points. So Temple's going to be important. You better take care of the basketball and do that. Number two, quick timeout. Ben Lodick, this is going to be his part of the game, right? Ottawa Glandorf, boy, they can take a, a big run in a hurry. We've seen him go from a two-point lead to 12 in a hiccup because the ability to steal the basketball convert. It's going to be up to him to call quick timeouts to stop those runs. And then number three, someone's going to have to have a career night. Someone's going to have to step forward, go crazy, shoot at a, a high level that they haven't done. Maybe it's going to be Mr. Welch who averages 13 points a game, but somebody's going to have to do that. That would be some keys to the game tonight for the OG Titans. Now, I'm sure one of the things that Coach Lodick talked about with Van Wert is don't let Ottawa Glander beat us from the, the three-point line. So if they're going to overplay on the three-point line, Ottawa Glander better attack the lane, dribble drive as much as you can. Number two, slap it on early. They love to put pressure defense on their opponents. Don't wait for it. Get the early lead tonight. Slap that uh, pressure defense on early in this game. And then number three. Uh, you want to have a clue? You want to have a clue? Well, here's your clue. Mr. White in the gym with the basketball. He is deadly. Get a clue. Colin White, unbelievable. He is one of the best players in this state. Three steals, three assists per game. 54% from the field, 40% from behind the arc. Yeah, he's uh, an outstanding basketball player. He's had a great career. And again, we're looking forward to what he could possibly accomplish tonight. And again, we want to tell you that our pregame show and our keys to the game have both been brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. You wonder if Colin White is looking over in the Van Wert jerseys and saying, look, I, I don't want to be with them, but I love those colors. The scarlet and gray, which he'll be wearing proudly at Ohio State next year. So then wrapping up, there is the young man, last one to be introduced to the starting lineup. We have ourselves a full house, which there just about always is here in the Supreme Court. Now that the festivities are taken care of, we can get to the job at hand, which is basketball. And tonight we are brought to you by Lodix Jewelry. Lodix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. As Miles mentioned, Van Wert will be in the red with the gray trim, white numerals. Ottawa Glandorf in their home whites with the gold and blue. It's going to be weird. You're coming to Ohio State off a team with the, the color. It's not quite the same, but kind of the, the, the scheme and kind of despise Titans win the tip we are underway now man to man early by Van Wert and they're gonna play 100% denial on Colin White right there who got on the low block just get it inside and there he is with the opening bucket of the night nice use of the left hand you see the pressure defense employed early by Tyson McLaughlin and we could really put our producer Ken Reeker to work maybe get a little counter on the corner points missing about the reverse layup up and good and the big answer for Van Wert. That's Ryan Miller with the nice little athletic move reverse off the smooch for two. Turnout's going to be no good tough shot rebound grab there by Miller so 2-2 two, two, just underway in our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Now even though it was a miss by Tomazos, I liked his aggressiveness. Remember he's coming off a really good offensive game against a senior. Gets off to a good hot start by being aggressive even though he didn't make the shot. Ryland Miller is trying to get to the basket. Didn't quite get all the way there. Hand off behind him. Was for Welsh. Welsh will let fly from the wing. He buries the bucket. And Van Wert with the early 4-2 lead. Yeah, just a little bit inside the line or also been a three, but good aggressiveness early by Welsh. Tomazos will give off into the corner where the 
Shot is up, no good. Welsh gets the rebound, brings the ball into the front court for the Cougars. Now he's going to pull it from the free throw line. Miles said something about a career night, and it looks like the freshman on his way there. Oh, how about the up the rhythm dribble in transition? Smooth by Welch. Grant Schroeder able to go baseline. He'll get the answer. Uh, Schrader with the answer. Got to be concerning for Ben Loddick, though. The easy ability to get to the lane so far by Ottawa Glandorf. Titans nearly come up with the steal. Now three ball off the wing. That one just rims out. Caden Schaefer. And it's Erford with the miss. Erford will bring this ball into the front court. Finds White. White back to Erford. Erford tried to get that look inside, nothing there. So they'll skip it over the top. Now Schrader from three hits it. Release, rotation, and splash for Schrader. Back to back, big offensive possessions for him. He's got five now. We're gonna get a whistle and a reach. It's our first stoppage. 5.39 left to go in our opening quarter. Those three pointers brought to you by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Nice round of applause here for Dave Westrick. 6'7 senior who's missed a lot of time. Might be able to see that big knee brace, part of the reason why. Boy, if they could get great contribution from him moving forward, a scary Ottawa Glandorf team gets even scarier. So they are in an absolutely packed Division Three district that'll be back at Lima Senior High School. Latest RPI rankings from the OHSAA were released as well. This one's going to be taken away. Ball's going to be inadvertently kicked. Erford had the loose ball. Here's White. White with the dump down underneath. It's Westrick. It's going to be left open. And I don't know if there's going to be a louder cheer tonight than that one. Uh, you see everybody standing. Give them a round of applause. Big basket for Big Dave. Of course, Colin White finds him. Three assists per game by him. Three ball from the corner is going to be off the mark. Erford with another rebound. Erford gets this one ahead. Schrader. Schrader comes to the wing. He's going to pick up his dribble. Needs some help. Lester gets the, the outlet pass as Erford tries to take on a triple team. Someone from Van Wert got a hand in there. We're going to take a look. And I believe this is going to go on Colin Haggerty, at 6 one senior. A pretty good job, though, by Van Wert. Force him to the baseline underneath the basket. Not a good spot for Erford. Three guys were corralling him, but let him out of the bag, though, with a foul. Erford next down the first free throw. Erford, an 82% free throw shooter on the year. I know it's early, but Erford just looks a little more relaxed today, doesn't does. he? We, of course, had him against a senior, and he was just a ball of nervous energy. He's going to hit both free throws there. That's his first two points of the night. JV game, by the way, won by Ottawa Glandor, 51-33. So free throws are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak Devils at St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Good look on the baseline. A little double clutch is Erford able to supply a little defense for the Titans as well. A Colin White, one hand pass comes into the corner. Three ball on the way is another one as Alex Wagner knocks down the Lee Kinsel sales and service three. Uh, as Ottawa Glandorf team can dial it up from long range is one of the scary things in our offense. Another big shot and then how about the young man, Mr. Welch with the answer from three. He has been red hot early. It's going to lead to a quick timeout by Van Wertner. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. We'll take a break here. Open in quarter 14-9 OG. We'll step aside on WOSF. 14-9 our score here just about halfway through this opening quarter. Zotto Glando is going to bring this ball into the front court. Trying to get set up underneath, didn't like anything there. As Erford, top of the key, gets a screen from White. Erford gets it back out. Now will kick it out White. Colin White swings it around to the right wing. Pop-out takes this one, long three on the way. That one's going to be no good. Rebound is fought for. One white jersey against three red jerseys. That was Westrick mixing it up, and he was boxed out by a guy that Van Wert's happy to see, Connor Campbell, number three on the floor. Kind of a, oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. The odd situation, Westrick kind of gave up on that rebound. He thought he was going to be called for a foul. That's kind of what it looked like. Didn't want to get the contact going over top to back. 
Now ball just comes around the perimeter for Van Wert Schaefer. Here's Welsh. Welsh with the elbow. It's the kick out behind for Haggerty. Haggerty to the cutter. Welsh left a pass to the low block. Somehow made its way there. As going straight up, Wyland Miller now balls out of bounds. As we take a look at the Union Bank replay. I love the spin move by Myler, but can't get it to go. And then it pokes away by Erford. Easy bunnies that Van Wert has not taken advantage of. Gonna have to make those to stay in this game. I want to tell you that when when we do have an instant replay, it's brought to you by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Offensive rebound as Gage Stemmen flies in, gives the Cougars second opportunity. Van Wert hanging around in this one. There's give to the cutter. That one just off for Campbell. Campbell back, his second leading scorer in eight games at 11 and a half points a night. At point blank range, you gotta be able to make those. Fourth easy layup opportunity for Van Wert. Especially when the Titans have been deadly from long distance so far. Offensive rebounds tipped around, Titans have come away with it. Good job defensively done there as Keaton Welsh at 5'10 is able to get the block. Yeah, watch Welch. Just has really good court awareness and battling. Pass goes over top. Welch doesn't give up. He's going to come over top and say, uh-uh, I'm going to stamp that one. Return to sender. It's going to be Van Wert basketball as well as OG will apply the pressure. Inbound does come in. Titans here. I'm sorry, the uh, Cougars able to break that with Welsh. Let's fly from long range. That doesn't go. Rebounds tipped up a couple of times. Still fought for. Finally contact. And it looks like a foul is going to be charged to Gage Stemmen. Now, when they watch this tomorrow, Van Wert, Coach Lodick's going to say, hey, go ahead and go all the way to the rim. Hold up. Looked like he had a clear path. Settled for the free throw line jumper. Went awry. And results in another foul for Van Wert. Ryland Miller, I believe, back into the lineup for Van Wert. Grady Tomazos checks back in for the Titans. So 207 left to go on our opening quarter and our scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Top of the key, thought about the three. Schrader. Schrader instead drives the lane. Can't get that one to go. White uses it back underneath. The second effort's up and good. So Schrader gets the two. He's got seven here early on for Ottawa Glandor. Now you better keep your eyes on Colin White every time he has the basketball in his hands because he will find you if you're open by a little bit. Schaefer comes to the wing. Thought he wanted a screen. Now he's got an overload to his right, so instead goes to the left. Tyson McLaughlin made a little bit of a change defensively. It's now Colin White on Keaton Welch. Pull up jumper is no good in the paint by Haggerty. Titans come away with it. Here's Tosmosis. Three ball off the wing. Schrader can't get that one to go. And now, fast break not coming. Steve Welsh might be called for the foul here. I think it's Corbin that's going to come down with it. Yeah, right there. It's an Ottawa Glandorf team early in this basketball game. Very active on the offensive glass. Another second chance opportunity. Another foul by Van Wert. And it's going to go on Gage Steeman, who's going to pick up his second. And not a real deep Van Wert bench. And Steeman was uh, playing denial on Colin White early in this basketball game. So and Ben Laudick uh, got a lot of decisions to make moving forward. White will do the inbounding. Pass to the top of the key is going to be taken away. It's Welsh with it. Welsh leaves a bounce pass for Campbell. Campbell trying to go straight up. Pivots around. Doesn't get the bucket to fall, but he's able to draw the foul. Uh, 12 points early in the year per game by this young man right here, Connor Campbell. And you see why. Quickness and the strength. Young man has spent some time in the weight room, has he? Look at those biceps on him. Dude can jack it around, throw some metal around in the weight room. First free throw is going to be no good for Campbell. His 67% free throw shooter. Tomazos guilty of the foul for the Titans. That's going to be his first. What do you think, Randy? You want to, you want to challenge Connor Campbell to a bench off? Mm. I got to spend some more time in the weight room. Campbell gets the second free throw. Now 16-10, under a minute to go in our opening quarter. 
Brennan Van Wert hanging around. A lot of emotion in this building. They could have easily folded early. And they're going to get a turnover right here. The 38.2 left. Think about it. a bucket here, maybe a three right before the end of the first quarter. Boy, you need to get a lot, right? Yeah, a lot of momentum moving forward. And Erford's wraparound pass went all the way to the baseline and into the corner. Out of bounds, so Van Wert will have it. 30 seconds to go. We're opening quarter in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Three ball is up, and it is another. Lee gets a three-pointer this time. Colin Haggerty knocks it down. Yeah, Haggerty with a big-time bomb. Gets it back to within three. Problem is, you give Ottawa Glander for an opportunity now in under 10. Schrader had the basketball in his hands. He gets it back, calls it. He's going to let fly from deep. Can't get it to go. The putback, though, on the backside rebound. Up and good by Ross Mag. And that's how our opening quarter will end. Very entertaining. Eight minutes of action. 18-13. Titans lead after one. We'll take a break here on WOSN. And our broadcast today also brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street and Van Werner online at Lodix.com. We've got to give a lot of credit to Van Wert, partner. Hey, nobody said they had a chance coming in, right? But they're sitting pretty, only down by five. Kind of weathered the storm. And they're showing some uh, gritty toughness in this basketball game. Get a lob one well into the backcourt. Come up with that one as we see Cohen Bragg, another freshman, in for the first time tonight for Van Wert. Where's number 20? It's in the corner, and now we're going to have an over and back. It's that suffocating defense forced Colin Haggerty to step over the midcourt line. Now, Van Wert made Ottawa Glendor pay right before half when they went to the run and jump. Haggerty buried the three, but that time Haggerty causes the turnover, gets the turnover. Mazos with a good look from the elbow, gets his first field goal of the evening, makes it 20 to 13. Van Wert nearly got called with another over and back. Bragg stopped when he got to the timeline. Here's Campbell. Campbell will find Haggerty. Haggerty going one on one with Erford. Nothing there, so they'll kick it back out to Caden Schaefer, reset the offense. And Otto Glandorf has figured out when it comes at a wing, if you're overplaying it, they're going to run a backdoor cut. So they're faking that they're going to overplay the perimeter pass. And they're ready for that backdoor pass. Van Wert's going to have to counter. Reach is going to be called there on Ross Mag. It's going to be his first, team's first of the quarter. Comes with 7-12 left to go in our second quarter in our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. You're doing a great job on pergolas. Ugh. It's in my head. I, I know I'm going to mess it up at one point. Picking up his dribble in a bad spot there was Campbell along the baseline to Haggerty. Haggerty trying to turn around. Back out to Campbell. Campbell goes behind the back with the dribble. And that one is going to be blocked. Colin White's going to team up with the side of the backboard to send it away. However, there's going to be foul. Yeah, they're going to call it on Colin White. And everybody here say, no, you can't, you can't call that on Colin. Connor Campbell's already split a pair of free throws tonight at the line to shoot two more. That one is good. Again, our free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And the second of two Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws are no good. Splits another pair. Six-point lead for the Titans. We near the six-and-a-half-minute mark of our opening half. Three ball, that one doesn't get the bounce. And a nice job staying inbounds by Campbell. Tip that to Schaefer to get the rebound. Uh, kind of high-level stuff, though, by Ottawa Glandorf. They still go to their pressure look after the rebound. On the other end, another Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointer. This time, Caden Schaefer knocks it down. Yeah, how about Schaefer? Big-time three-point shooter for them. 37% on the year, 100% that time. Haggerty had the ball knocked out of his hands. 
And on the way to the basket, Ryland Miller able to get one. And now we're down to a one-point game. Oh, don't look now, but Van Wert, they're not going to go away. Oh, Ben Lodick doing a great job getting his guys staying in this game. Lob goes into the corner. Three there is no good by Schrader. But after the rebound, it's up and good. Tomazos unchecked, just runs in the lane, gets the rebound, and if there's one thing you could fault Van Wert on early in this basketball game, they are not checking out. They're not getting the defensive rebounds that they need to have. It looks like we got a timeout on the floor, and our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. With the timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. OG leads this one by three here on WOSN. 5.28 left to go before halftime here on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 22-19. Ottawa Glandor is able to uh, hold off a somewhat feisty Van Wert squad so far. We're at 18-13 at the end of one. Cougars haven't gone away yet. Yeah, you got to be careful if you're Ottawa Glandor. The longer you let Van Wert hang around, that belief creeps in. The next thing you know, they believe they can win the basketball game. They're tougher to beat. Keith Welsh coming around to the wing. Tries to get a screen. He's going to go opposite. And now we're going to bump in a foul. Welsh gets to the baseline. Well, we had this Van Wert team, you and I, oh, early in the year against Wayne Trace. And they were just a turnover uh, machine. Van they uh, barely was able to bring the ball up the court against a very good Wayne Trace team. But much improved. How about Keaton Welch? He does not look like a freshman at all. Now off the screen, three ball is going to be no good. Erford comes away with the miss. It's the outlet ahead now. A tough fadeaway is no good. Offensive rebound grab. Welsh trying to get involved now. Step back three. Gets the bounce as it goes in for Tomazos. A little home cooking for you. You know your own rims. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And nothing but the bottom of the net. It is another Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointer. As the wild shot by Welsh is no good. And now a whistle and a foul. Big day. Don't go up with two hands and bring it down. Six foot seven. But his ability to get up even higher with a long reach. He can become a rebounding machine for the Titans. You saw that thanks to our instant replay tonight. Brought to you by the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Now White lets fly. Can't get that one to go. Been held to just two points so far. Welsh, man, they're not going to get the chance for the jumpers. The screen setter was knocked to the ground. Yeah, you can't go through a screen. You got to go over or under. You see Colin White. Not sure what his bench press is, but whatever that guy weighs, he can bench it. That's going to be White's second foul. He's going to stay on the floor here with 4.18 to go, first half. Welsh comes to the wing, doubles back around. Now it's kind of dribbling around looking for someone as everyone sets up on the baseline. Finds Schaefer. White almost picked up his third right there, contacting the dribbler. Now Schaefer with the ball fake. It's the Cougars reset here halfway through the second quarter. Bounce pass into the corners, Campbell. Campbell, nice little crossover move, hangs in the lane. It's no good, but he's able to draw the foul. Once again, Connor Campbell is going to shoot a couple of least famous recipe chicken free throws. Now, this is where the other OG defenders have to recognize who's on the ball, right? Campbell sees Westrick is on him. Of course, what's he going to do? He's going to try and take him to the rim, right? Dribble drive. Use your quickness against Big Dave. The rest of the defenders have to stop ball, collapse, and stop the dribble. And a great job by Campbell to recognize that he could beat Westrick off the dribble. Campbell with his third free throw tonight. That's all three of his points. Free throws brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Alive a lot by and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Campbell able to knock down both of them this time. Oh, how happy is Van Wert to have Connor Campbell back, huh? Huge difference so far. Westrick's just going to lose the handle of the basketball. 
It's a turnover, and now here come the Cougars again. Schaefer will find Welsh. Welsh around with that left-hand dribble. And we're going to get a whistle as Welsh is going to lose the basketball out of bounds. Now you see a little bit of frustration on Welch. Has the lane on the left-hand side, but just a little bit of a kick off his own shin. The ball goes out of bounds. Saw that on the Union Bank replay. Titans have it. Here's Colin White. White crossover, pull-up jumper, and it's going to go for two. A sweet little move, and he has four points now tonight. Yeah, just rise and fire over top of Schaefer. He's got that height advantage. Let's see if that Colin, gets Colin White going on the offensive end. White also the... Uh, Tip of that pressure defense. Buys on the ball fake. As Van Wurst able to answer as Connor Campbell knocks down. Malik Kinsel sails in service three. Uh, a little trade tray action for Van Wurst, but you got to get back on D because OG will push in a hurry. Yeah, Brody Fortman comes up with the basket. Now 29 25. Back and forth we go. With another ball fake. Corner three. Hits another one. He's souping it up from three. Campbell, another one. Oh, gee, with a huge answer. That's Brady Foreman that says, whatever you can do, I can do better. I can see you, Campbell. Now Lee Kinsel getting his money's worth tonight. All those three-pointers, by the way, are Lee Kinsel sales and service three-pointers. Visit him on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. 32, 27, under two to play. Opening half of basketball. What a good one it's been so far. Nah, keep, keep letting them fly, right? It's a lot of fun. Welsh will find Schaefer. Schaefer into the corner for Haggerty. Haggerty trying to get inside. He's got two white jerseys. That's the smart thing. Kicks it back out. Ball is lost, but back out to Haggerty. And now Van Wert's going to reset here. 90 seconds to play first half. Second time they've done this. They bring the ball way out to the top and reset. And make Ottawa Glendorf continue to play defense for a long time. Into the corner, Haggerty lets fly. That one in and out. And now Colin White will bring it into the front court himself. White spins right to the basket. Couldn't get the layup. On the other end, here's Welsh. Pull up three. That one too strong. Rebound is going to be... Knocked out of bounds, last touch by White. Colin White tried to reach in to get that off for red jersey. The official says it's successful. We're going to see the Union Bank replay. Yeah, good battle on the weekend side. Colin White was saying it went off of Van Wert. Tough call, but the official's right on it, so he got a good view. A really good job by the officials so far, Randy. I think they let guys play. They haven't let uh, bumping and grinding go on too much. Mm -hmm. Called it really tight so far, but yet not imposing on the game. Van Wert will inbound this one. 57 and a half seconds to go opening half. Off a dribble handoff. Welsh is going to reset. Welsh look in. Gives to that fellow freshman and Bragg. Bragg. I'm sorry, he's got it back to Welsh. Welsh will have it just taken away as Fortman will force the turnover. Yeah, Fortman's had himself a great half on the offensive end. That time comes up with the steal. And Ottawa Glendorf looks like they're going to be happy to settle for the last shot of the half. Erford just dribbling inside that center circle. And now OG wants to take a timeout to talk about it. So again, our timeouts tonight. Brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So OG is going to talk about what they want to do in the final possession. We'll take a timeout as well here on WOSF. Well, 20 seconds left to go before halftime. Miles, we were talking about what OG was going to do yeah. in that timeout. Well, you decided to bring Colin White back onto the floor in this last, but the, what we presume to be the last offensive possession. Yeah, I remember he hit that big three against uh, Senior last Saturday. He has the two fouls, but chances of him picking it up on, on the offensive end right before half, not that big. We'll find something inside. Three ball is going to be blocked. However, Campbell is going to run into the official. The official tried to get out of the way, and a tough break from Van Wert is OG. 
will get the basketball back here with five seconds to go. Yeah, great intensity by Connor Campbell. Unfortunate for Van Wert, the ball goes out of bounds off the official. White will do the inbounding. Here's Erford. Erford hits the three, and a big one it is to end the half. One final Lee Kinsel sales and service three, and it's a huge one before halftime. 35-27, Ottawa Glendorf leads Van Wert the break, and we will take a timeout here on WOSF. Halftime here from the Supreme Court. 35-27, Ottawa Glendorf with the lead over Van Wert as we welcome you to our Halftime show brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home with Miles Holiday and Randy Roberts, partner. That was an exciting first half of basketball so it, far. It sure was. you got to give a lot of credit to Ben Loddick and Coach of Van Wert. His guys were ready to play. And what a difference does Connor Campbell make for these guys. We saw Keith Welch early in the year. Much improved young man. You know, it's been a fun one again. Uh, Colin White needing... 15 to become the school, and Putnam County's all-time leading score was held in check, and it's one of those things we've seen down through the years. Kind of gets in your head. You, you want to get it out of the way early, and it's just one of those things hasn't really gone his way so far tonight. Uh, the Buddies affected their offense in a good way by passing. Already three assists in this basketball game, and his defense has been spectacular. So sometimes you don't want to force the offense, and I, I think he's letting the game come to himself. Okay, so that's where we're at, 35-27. Our score and again, our halftime show brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. We're going to take a timeout. We'll have some uh, halftime adjustments brought to you by Lodix Jewelry as well. All that coming up when we return here on WOSN. <laughs> Randy and Miles back with you here. 35-27 at the half. Ottawa Glandorf with the lead over Van Wert. Time now for some halftime adjustments. Halftime adjustments are brought to you by Lodix Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. So, adjustments. Yeah, let's Van start. Wert, what do you do? Okay, Van Wert first and foremost. Uh, or you, you can do it however you want. You had, you had a, Let's go Van Wert, right? Okay. The, the adjustment you're going to make, they're going to, I don't mind, have got to come out at the three-point line now, right? Because you have, you have just ripped three-pointer after three-pointer. So when Ottawa Glendorf comes out on that three-point line, a big dribble drive, look to kick it to the open three. They did a great job shooting the three-point ball in that first half. Now they're going to have to drive and kick it to get that three-point opportunity. And then for uh, Ottawa Glendorf, some halftime adjustments. Really good game plan by Ben Loddick. What are they doing against Colin White? Well, they're face guarding 100% denial on the perimeter. If you're Ottawa Glendorf, he's being face guarded by Caden Schaefer. Schaefer's only 5'9". So what should we do? Well, let's take our six foot six Colin White. Let's put him on the low block and say, all right, you want to try and deny him the basketball. We're just going to throw over top of him. So those are our halftime adjustments. And again, they've been brought to you by Loddick's Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years, visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Just a couple of minutes yet to go before we get to the third quarter. Take another time out and get you set for the second half when we return here on WOSN. Randy and Miles back with you here, 35-27. Just about ready to go for our third quarter. Once we get into our third quarter, we want to tell you that it is brought to you by Lodix Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street, Van Wert, or online at Lodix.com. Brandy, this is an amazing atmosphere, right? Mm -hmm. One of the coolest things, they got a, a jumbo screen on the one end. And what are they showing on it? Not just basketball stats and athletic stuff. They're showing artwork up That's there. Right. It's really cool. Erica Hahn has a, a great painting of a pepper. I, I loved it. Ashley Wary has a great sketch of an eagle. There you go. Yeah, it is fantastic stuff. I, I'm mesmerized by it. Look at all the talented people in the art department. And there's the pepper right there. We just saw it. Erica Hans Pepper, fantastic stuff. It's a spicy piece of art. Oh, I see what you did there. So you see the pep band, they're down on the other end from us next to them. Miles and I talked about this 
uh, in between the JV and varsity games before we started uh, tonight. Student section, and, and look, we don't want to belittle student sections, but someone has a good idea, and then it seems like we yeah. go somewhere, yeah. and every student section picks it up. Very unique idea to student section tonight at, at uh, here at OG. It's great, and, and the young man even, he's got the pot belly going. It is dad's grilling outfits against the mom's soccer bomb outfit. So hats off to the Ottawa Glandorf uh, student section. Great Great job, and how about Ottawa Glandorf coming out of the timeout at halftime and getting a bucket? Great job by them. Yeah, Grant Schrader able to score. Now left open under the basket from Van Wert is Ryland Miller, and he'll score. So we trade buckets, 37-29, just 30 seconds going by. Here's White from the baseline. Tough shot over a couple defenders, but he's able to hit it. Uh, six foot six, and can just go over top of you with that nice jumper. Rise and fire, young man. Now see that pressure applied at this time. And it's going to lead to a steal. White somehow stayed in bounds. Gets the kick out. Now steps back. He'll fire away. That one is going to be just off the mark. Try to go for that Lee Kinsel three-pointer. The Cougars with it. Trying to hang around. Lead has quickly grown to 10. That's the biggest it's been so far tonight. Now Van Wert snacking on some danger here, partner. And Colin White barely missed that three. It's at 10 now. Trying to answer. This one's going to kick off the heel of the iron. Steven with the offensive rebound. So back out to Schaefer. Schaefer needs some help. Trying to find somebody to come get the basketball. It's going to be Haggerty. Uh, that's Schrader pounding Keaton Welch, denying him the basketball. Haggerty trying to pivot around, can't find anyone. Now Welsh able to get it as he goes into the corner. Haggerty again. Kind of a little wheel action on the weak side to try to get someone free on a cut. Well played by Ottawa Glandorf. Come out to Welsh, can't get the jumper from the free throw line. The rebound comes out, the Titans trying to push. It's under the basket. Open look by Schrader, just rolls off the rim. Kind of a weird night in that respect. Both teams went like range many times, no one around, and a little bit of the yips on the easy layup. Take a look at the Union Bank replay here. That's a tremendous pass by Tomazos. Erford able to score. Erford has a pretty solid game so far today. 41-29 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Lob into that low block, and the kick out. Here's Welsh for three. That one is no good. And with one motion, you get the rebound, and then the long baseball pass ahead, but it's knocked away. Van Wert's going to come right back and set up in the half court. Entry pass back to Haggerty. Haggerty trying to spin. The turnaround just doesn't go. Colin White with another rebound. Yeah, Otto Glandorf has picked up the tempo in transition. And if you don't stop number 22, he will make you pay. Watch this. I'm just right going to run right over you and then a smooch off the window. And how about the little finish with the, the hand to let you know, and one. A little style by Colin White. He's got eight looking for nine and a replace tonight. Are brought to you by the Union Bank. The Union Bank committed to you as White steps up to our Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line where he finishes off the three-point play. That's the great thing about uh, great scorers, Randy. They just find their points eventually. He looked up early in this game. He was sitting on two forever. And Talon White already at nine. Trying to get to that lucky number of 15 tonight. Understand there will be a uh, quick stoppage of action if he does reach that record. And rightfully so, right? right. It should be one of those things that... The acknowledge. The double team. This one nearly taken away. Tough play inside. We're going to get a whistle. We'll see what the Union Bank replay shows us. Yeah, Herford grabbing. Yeah, Herford goes up and gambles, tries to get the steal. That allows Haggerty to drive the lane. Oh, trying to little circus shot, but on the rebound opportunity, Ottawa Glendorf got to pick up the foul. And it's Grady Tomazos picks up the foul. That's going to be his second, team's first of the quarter. 
Connor Campbell needs some help with the basketball. We'll find Welsh. Welsh comes out to the point. Better job by Dave Westrick one on one against Connor Campbell. Campbell is taking him to the hole early in the game. Dribble by Campbell just went through his hands. Erford will come away with it, gets a kick out. Corner three is up and good. Grady Tommaso starting to heat up. And that again is a Lee Kinsel sales and service three pointer. Lee Kinsel on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Dot com as we have ourselves a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit Metzger Financial Services. Com. Well, when you play for Ottawa Glandorf, it's a three for me, a three for you, it's a three for all. If you're on the floor and you have an open three, go ahead and take it. And they uh, love the three ball here. And more importantly, they love it when they bury them. They've been very efficient tonight from behind the arc. Yeah, that is I'm trying to count very quickly. I have six made three pointers for OG tonight. And I have five for Van Wert. Yeah, that's the thing, right? They can grow a lead so quickly with their style. Not too long ago, this was a eight-point game, and now you look up and, wow, look what happened. They can put points on the board in a hurry. Out of it's a 12-2 run right now to begin this second half, 47-29. It's OG beginning to pull away. They look to stay unbeaten in the Western Buckeye League. Now you just wondered at half, was Van Wert gonna be able to keep pace? They played about as well as they could in that first half. Beginning to fall apart on them a little bit. Yeah, the shooting just kinda went away, at least so far in this third quarter. Another one, this one's gonna be taken away White. He's just gonna be wrapped up by Welsh. Wells didn't want to get posterized there is what happened. <laughs> You're exactly right. But how about the bear hug by Keaton Welsh? He's going to make sure the 22 doesn't put one on him. So now the officials are going to talk about this one, make sure that was not intentional. I didn't get it from behind. I mean, it was kind of on the side. It was unorthodox. You're not used to seeing someone bear hug a dribbler, but... <laughs> The officials are going to say that Colin White was in the act of shooting, so he is going to go to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. It's funny watching Ben Lodick over there. You see him in the top corner. He's looking at uh, this freshman guard, Keaton Welch, and he's trying to say, slide your feet, go up and down, don't bear hug. Uh, right now, I think he's having more of a conversation on how is this a shooting foul? Yeah, he wants to know the ball never left the hands of Colin White. How is that a shooting foul? I think the official is telling him, well, sir, when your player has both of his arms tightly wrapped around him like a straight jacket, yeah, it's you not like, cannot get the arm up to shoot. It's not like Colin White was going to dribble out of bounds. We all knew what he was going to do. He's going to go up and try and shoot. Uh, I don't think he was going to shoot. He's going to try to go up and dunk, let's yeah. be honest with each other here. He's going to posterize. 78% free throw shooter. He hits them both, and now on the other end, Welsh can't get the uh, jumper to go, and now we got to reach along the baseline. Brady Fortman is trying to stay in bounds with that rebound. Hey, look, already a 20-point margin. This is how scary Ottawa Glandorf can be. This was a ball game at half, and then in a blink of an eye, they'll it's put sudden, points on you. It was until it wasn't, and that came quickly. Titans with it once again. Here's White. White from the free throw line, pulls up, hits it. Uh, he's feeling his rhythm now. That gives him 13. So the next one will be the record breaker. Welsh trying to direct some traffic here. Now Van Wert kind of stymied offensively. Guys are looking around like we ran every set we have to get free. Ottawa Glendorf is denying everything. Haggerty step inside the free throw line, gets the roll. He's got five points now tonight. And Bill Lambeer asked a little jumper right there. Westrick almost got a piece of it. Efficient move by Haggerty. So here's Erford. They might just clear out. It's exactly going to do. Jumper, no good. Had a bit of a hush to the crowd. They were ready. <laughs> 
the anticipation. Yeah, was they there. know it's coming as well. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Van Wert will keep it here. 2.21 to go. And again, the scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Uh, Otto Glendorf should run a trap here, see if they can get a steal, and then find Colin on a breakaway, see if he can get a dunk. Oh, it would be one moment. way to do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, here it is. And that it might be exactly what happens. You heard the ooze. <laughs> they were ready for it. <laughs> it was a collective ooh here at the Supreme Court. Titans have the basketball after the turnover here. 2 10 and counting to go, third quarter. Tomazos at the point. There's White. White is about four jerseys. Turnaround jumper can't get it to go. And a handoff behind. Nice spin. Trying to find something. Campbell. Campbell's going to give to the cutter, and the layup is good out of Kane Schaefer. Yeah, Herper tried to jump. Campbell. Campbell protected the basketball and found a cutting Schaefer. Easy two for Van Wert. They needed a bucket in a big way. Like OG was going to try to go to White again. Instead, Erford from three. Can't get it to go. And a nice rebound. It was Cohen Bragg able to come away with it. Haggerty now in the front court. And now here's Welsh. That one doesn't go. Nice rebound. No one. Picked up Schaefer, and he's got back-to-back -back buckets for the Cougars. Yeah, Schaefer is one of those players that is all effort. That time hustled out, hustled everybody for the layup. Mazo's trying to find someone. Here's Erford on the baseline. He'll have it stripped away. As Haggerty comes away with the basketball. A bump that we play on. Haggerty picked up his dribble once he crossed the timeline. Needs some help. Inside the center circle, here's Welsh. Welsh looking at his coach for a play. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Welsh gets into the paint where we have a whistle. And we'll see what the foul is. I'm going to say Tommaso's the whole body. That's exactly what it is. I believe we had a Tony Quach side. It is. That's Quach TV right there. Tony Quach is always smiling, right? And why not? He gets to cover sports every single day. He's virtually everywhere. they got to get him a helicopter because the number of spots he's at on a Friday night is amazing. Inbound comes into the corner for Van Wert. Circle it around Steeman with it. Steeman trying to give. Here's a loose ball. And now the opportunity came and went. Steeman robbers him from behind. It's going to be his third. And he, I think Colin White was going to pass it ahead to Erford because Erford had to break away. That's the third on Steeman. Team's fourth. There's a little perspiration on the floor that they're going to clean up before we continue on. 34 and a half seconds to go. Now, quick substitution. Oh. Substitution didn't get to the table in time. Campbell right. wanted to come in. Yeah, Fisher almost let him in, but realized that he had already given the ball to White to inbound it. Here's Erford. Erford will throw this one. Almost takes out a couple cheerleaders. Yeah, we almost had a Brady Bunch moment right here, didn't we? This one's going to come right at you. Pay attention, young ladies. Might get your nose broken. Van Wert with it, 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Well, should give it an ad. Schaefer, Schaefer's got a couple of baskets here in the third. Welsh near that center circle. Switches hands to a right, oh, switch between the right and left hand dribble. One and a couple screens. Slips down to kept his dribble. And now his pull up jumper is no good as the Titans get the rebound, but that's how our third quarter will end. 51 35 as we move to the fourth, and we'll take a timeout here at WOSF. 51 35 our score as we move into our fourth and final quarter of action. Coach coaches decided to break out the ties for this 
no, momentous occasion. Yeah, I talked to Coach McLaughlin before the game. I said, we don't go with, with the sneakers. He said, no, no, league games. We dress up, non-league games, break out the sneakers and the uh, polo. So it looks sharp for the WBL. Titans trying to go to 5-0 in the WBL. They're now eight minutes away from doing that with this 16-point lead here in the Supreme Court as we begin our fourth quarter. Van Wert will have the basketball as Keaton Welsh at the wing tries to find something inside. Leaves it for Schaefer, who's able to come back and get it. Now Steven at the wing. This would be, if Otto Glanner goes on to win the W belt, this was the third straight year, right? Look inside. You know what? That's a good question. About the last two years that they had won it. This would be the third straight, if my memory serves. Now there's a foul. Well, you have the picture with all the championships. Now here's a little transition moving. Move. Time a dribbler is on the move, and you're standing still, and he goes at you. Going to be a tough time stopping him. And smart move going to the lane. And partner, I will pull that picture up that I took in pregame. And, and the up 2023 out of Landorf 1, 2022 out of Landorf. Took a, a couple years off, 19 and 18, 17 and 16. Okay. Nice little run. So this year would make three in a row. Erford off the inbound for threes. No good. He's going to end up in the front row of the student section. Now the kick out. And Schrader for three. That one doesn't go. Erford, third opportunity. He's able to put it up and in. And forget that Kaden Erford is six foot four. At that time just out jumps everybody for the easy putback. So now 53 35 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Van Wert some trouble in the backboard, able to get this ahead. As Miller now double teamed at that low block, just pivots around. Might have got away with a travel in there. Inside here's Welsh, and his pull up is good. Kate Welsh uses a left hand to break down the defense, and he's got one of those jumpers that is kind of tough to contend. He's up to nine, and now the layup is good. It's Connor Campbell. Gets his first two-point basket. Got it back to 14 off the steal by Campbell. Little finger roll over top the rim. So he's reversed around. Mazos. His pass is then tipped. Campbell looking for another layup there. Force OG to inbound near midcourt. Do you feel the energy in the building increasing on each offensive possession? Everybody wants to see this record go down. Colin White has the basketball right now. He'll get it out to the wing. Into the corner. Fortman sent it back out to Erford. Go back to White. White trying to get everyone to clear out. And now we'll get a foul. This is going to go on Caden Schaefer. Now Schaefer has worked so hard trying to defend Colin White. Saw the ball get loose a little bit. Tried to get it. But contacted White for an easy foul by the official. Back out, here's White again. White long lob into the corner. And the baseline drive. Looks yeah. good, Grant Schrader. Schrader in double digits now with 11. Schaefer with it now for the Cougars. Best press break of the night for Van Wert right there. Diagonal passes on a dime. Great pass by Campbell. Well, and the ball stripped when he went up, lost the handle. And now here's White, Colin White. White pass into the corner. White trying to get positioning there. He calls for the basketball. White in the paint, turn around, and there it is! Colin White now the all-time leading scorer in both OG and Putnam County history. He'll get handshakes from all his teammates and a hug from his coach as well. well it's not often that you get to witness history with the moment it takes place. And they're going to honor greatness because Colin White is great. I believe this is Tim Pollitz, the former record holder. He will uh, 
get to keep the basketball. Breaking basket again. Now we get over top of three. Van Wert defenders. His ability to rise above gets in the big bucket he needs. He'll get the uh, basketball. So I guess they're going to play with a new one. Also, kind of interesting. The baton, the baton, <laughs> both literal and figurative baton that gets handed off the next great OG basketball player. That yeah, really cool moment. Tim Pollitt's coming out and giving it to him. And how about Ben Lotta going over and shaking his hand? Classy move by Van Wert, allowing him to have that moment. Now, they worked really hard to make sure he didn't have that moment, but once he did, classy move by Van Wert. Yeah, Lotta having a conversation with some, I don't know, he's talking to the OG bench. I don't know if they're just having fun, but he was trying to get maybe, hey, you know, hey, he got his record. You can take him off the floor now, maybe. But. <laughs> What the <laughs> And how about the three pointers? So Van Wert still fighting here. Schaefer is second triple and again the three pointers. Brought to you by Lee Kinsel. Visit him on Irvin Road and Van Wert. Take a look at our pre owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. On the move, this is where he is at his best. Colin White puts the defenders. He's going to be contacted by Schaefer. Now Colin White heads to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line where he will hit the first. So White up to 16. Visit Lee's famous recipe chicken the line, Wapak Devils and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. Van Wert able to break the pressure and lose the basketball to get down into the front court. One shot no good. Now the Titans come away with it. Yeah, you're wondering when the foul was going to come, right? Erford, tremendous job going up being physical, getting a rebound. And he is going to be harassed big time by Campbell. And Campbell's like, <laughs> look, I'm trying to foul him. Will you please call it? Is exactly what happens. That is the fourth whistle to, against the Cougars here. Still have 435 left to play in this one on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. White brings this into the front court. Now another Lee Kinson three pointer this time. It's Erford with his second of the night. Yeah, Erford's one of those rare shooters that's comfortable catching the ball going away. Had that big three pointer same way right before half. He's got 12 tonight. Here's a deflection from behind. Second effort. Nice little scoop shot. Up and good by Colin Haggerty. Yeah, Haggerty shows that he's a really good athlete. Circumvents the whole rim and the defense for the easy two. Erford a little behind the back dish, working baseline, and the offensive foul on the push going to be called on Brody Fortman. They're working that left-hand side. Fortman's going to wind up with it with a little backdoor cut. On the drive right there, and you see the shoulder's going to go into the chest, the sternum, if you will. Welch, Welch is going to crumble. Easy call by the official on the charge. Grant Schrader back in the lineup now for the Titans. Down to 345, uh, 45 and counting left to play. Schaefer is that side near the bench is kind of worn out. Just going up and down trying to find something. Step back three is going to be left short. Right to White who has the miss. Now brings it into the front court. White with a kick out. Wing three is another big lead. Kinsel sales and service threes. Alex Wagner has his second triple. Now a lot of big shooters for Ottawa Glandorf. 
21 point lead now for the Titans here. 310 and counting left in this one. Van Wert trying to find something with a cutter as well. She gets a kick out. Tries to get the basketball back, has it in the corner where he was double teamed momentarily. Back out to Campbell. Campbell comes across the lane. Give back as well. She'll have that one partially blocked. White leaves another one up for Westrick, who has a solid four-point night tonight. How about Big Dave running the floor? Of course, Colin White, precision pass to get Big Dave an opportunity. And now foul by White. That is to allow some of the substitutions to make their way onto the floor. Colin White first went off, and again, more... Handshakes and hugs from his coaches, teammates. And also get one more nice round of applause from this crowd here. Most of a sellout. I know it was uh, pretty close to it today. I don't know if they officially got to sellout status. Also into the Titans, number four, Tomazis. Uh, new players each team here. Landon Sudeth, number 23, one of those new bodies for Van Wert. He will get the inbound in as it'll go to Cohen Bragg. Bragg back for Sudeth. Sudeth goes between the legs, top of the key, trying to find someone. Here is Steven. Steven will give off to Miller. Miller in the paint. It's his defenders in the air. Turnaround doesn't go. And it's Connor Kitchen with the rebound. He wears number five for OG, one of the new bodies out there. Let's see, Wagner's got the basketball in his hands. Tomazos with it as well with Kitchen. Kitchen at the wing. The lob goes inside here. Schrader. Schrader, the leaner goes. Grant Schrader, pretty impressive night with 13. As the Titans lead this one 69 44 with a minute 40 left to play. Now we'll get a whistle. This might be coming inside. This is going to be an OG foul on Counter Kitchen. So we will see Brody Fortman in as it looks like Grant Schrader will sit down. Van Wert to inbound. They get it in with a minute 35 to play. Another steal. That one nearly took out the official as well. Everyone playing a little hot potato with the basketball. And finally, Landon Sudduth will come away with it. His pass is tipped, but makes it its way to Nate Gerhard, who also just checked in. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. He's trying to hold strong on the block is the sophomore Holden Aldrich, number 10 for OG. So here's Rylan Miller. He'll get a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one on the way, no good. Just one more coming with a minute 14 to play. One. No good as well. So he stayed 69 44. It's Fortman trying to spin in the lane. Tomazos. Tomazos gets inside and he will get the bucket. And they'll get a quick, just want a stoppage for a timeout. So Steven will check in for the final minute. So at the point, brings the ball into the front court for the Cougars. Van Wert gave OG a battle for a while. They're going to fall short. Pull a jumper from the elbow is going to be no good. Aldrich, Aldrich had the rebound. Now OG just have to run out the final 38 seconds. Wagner to Fortman. 
Fortman comes to the left side. Back to Wagner. Wagner gets the lob inside. Aldrich turnaround. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound. That one doesn't go. Aldrich third effort. Finally will score. Great effort on the offensive end there for OG. Get the rebounds. Now the final few seconds. I have Van Wert just dribbling out the clock. They don't want to put up any more shots in our final tonight. Here from the Supreme Court on the record-setting night, we'll have the Titans of Ottawa and Landorf stay undefeated in the WBL as they get the 73-44 win over Van Wert. We'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll check in down on the floor with our Miles Holiday. He's got our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. All right, our final tonight, 73-44. Ottawa Glandorf gets the win over Van Wert as the Titans will improve to 13-2. They go to 5-0 in the WBL. So at a big record-setting night as Colin White becomes not only OGs, but Putnam County's all-time leading scorer. And he's now down on the floor with Miles Holiday. Uh, Callen, uh, the man of the hour. Let's talk about the game first and foremost. Uh, Van Wert, they did not go quietly. Gave you guys everything you could handle in that first half. What were they doing to make your life difficult? You know, they were kind of just uh, sending a couple guys, um, sagging off a couple guys, and uh, just weren't hitting shots, really. No, no one was hitting shots. But in the second half, I thought we, we came out, we played better defensively, and uh, we hit some shots. Now let's talk a little bit about the record. Congratulations, all-time leading scorer in Putnam County here in Ottawa, Glandorf. Uh, what does it mean to you? It, it means everything. You know, you never think you'd be up on that list, but you are. And, uh, and Tim, Tim Pollitz was here tonight, which was just a, a special feeling. So it's, uh, I'm honored to be up on that list, and it's all thanks to my teammates and my coaches. Did you ever think as a little kid that you'd have a night like this? No, no, not of course not. But uh, it came, and I, I, I'm just happy it's here. Now, you told me uh, before we came back that it's your sister's 21st birthday. Do you want to wish her a happy birthday? Yes, happy birthday, Maddie. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that have helped you get to this spot. Anybody that you want to uh, thank you at this moment? You know, of course, my, my teammates, my coaches that have been to me from the four years of high school, you know, they're just special people. And, of course, my parents and my siblings, my, especially my brother Ethan, you know, he's, he's helped me through a lot, and uh, he's a really a special guy. Well, you enjoy this moment. Last thing for you, you didn't get a chance to dunk tonight. Do you want to take the half-court shot or you want to dunk it? Uh, you know, I'll take the half-quarter. Okay, all right, here we go. Right there, Colin White, half-court. Colin White from half court. <laughs> of course he makes it. Congratulations, Colin. What a special night for Colin White. Yeah, what a uh, the crowd still down on the floor as we're going to see this one more time. On top of everything else, just buries the half court shot. Special night for Colin and becoming uh, OGs of Putnam County's all time leading score. We're going to take one final timeout. We'll wrap things up when we return here on WOSN. 73-44, the final. Ottawa Glandorf gets the win over Van Wert again. The Titans go to 13-2, 5-0 in the WBL. Van Wert will fall to 3-13, 0-5. and Colin White leading the score tonight for the Titans, but just one of four players double figures tonight with 17. Grant Schrader, solid game with 13. Both Grady Tomazos and Caden Erford chipped in with 12. Van Wert ends up two players double figures tonight. Connor Campbell, we weren't expecting to even play tonight. Ends up leading the uh, Cougars tonight with 12 points. Caden Schaefer chips in with 10 as Miles Holiday quickly makes his way from the floor back up here in the broadcast. Hey, how about that? He made the three or made the half court shot. And Colin, well, what a great night. Uh, keep an eye on this Van Wert team, though. The Van Wert team. They're going to be a, a little bit of an issue for everybody else in the WBL moving forward. And there it is. Right there with the high glass smooth. I thought he was going to take the dunk. He didn't get a chance to dunk one. He had a couple looks, but now la up. last time he was playing the game, he told his guys, he said, look, I'm going to make the half-court shot. So I think he wanted to do it. So we want to thank everyone for making our night possible. And you know what? Uh, game nights are always tough when you're the both basketball coach and AD, Tyson McLaughlin, a fantastic uh, crew here at OG. I want to thank him. I want to thank Curtis for the work he's done on the camera. And of course, Ken Reeker. These live games, they're always fun, but everything works without a problem. So 73-44, OG gets the win. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.